How do I know if it's real? How do I know if it's reflexive? It's not your opinion. It's not what you think you heard. It is what they said, and it's you learning how to listen even more intently. We treat objections as though there's something to overcome, and so we don't nearly hear what they're objecting to. We just immediately go into, well, I understand how you feel. This is my favorite. Like most of you, whether you realize it or not, you have been taught this old school overcoming objection technique called feel, felt, found. And we typically say something like, in fact, I remember, I remember being trained to listen to whatever the object, objection was and then it doesn't matter because you're just gonna come back with, I understand exactly how you feel because other, some of my best clients felt the exact same way about X but what they found after meeting with me was why. I like it a lot better when I learn how to shut the frick up and clarify, hey, this objection you're giving me, is it real or reflexive? Now you don't ask them to clarify whether it's real or reflexive. I'm gonna show you exactly how you do that. I want you to understand that you are earning, like write that down, I am earning my objections. Now. I'm not making fun of you. I'm not being mean to you. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm actually empowering you. Because as soon as you realize it is your fault that you're getting those objections, it's your fault you're earning those objections, that should be music to your ears. Because now that you are the one responsible for earning the objections, guess what that means? You're also empowered to eliminate them. Now that you understand that you're the one earning them, you can stop doing the thing that's causing you to get reflexive objections and when you stop doing the thing that's getting you the reflexive objections, guess what will happen? Over time, you will nearly eliminate reflexive objections and the only one you're ever gonna to have to deal with is real.